Hello and welcome to the Relationships Education presentation for Year 5 and 6. I'm Miss Samuels and I teach in Year 6. I'm the SENCO Deputy Safeguarding Lead and I also lead PSHE and RSE across the school. So the aims of this meeting are to create a parent partnership. We want to share with you our new curriculum and to get your feedback and questions on it. We want to explain the changes um, in requirements for RSE, relationships and sex education that has come from the government. We want to ensure that you as parents and carers understand why RSE is really important. We want to share with you how we currently teach RSE and some resources that your child will be seeing when they're learning about RSE at school. And we want to um, update you with our new curriculum. So um, the government recently reviewed their relationships and sex education requirements and as a school we are now required to teach children about families and people who care for them, caring friendships, respectful relationships, online relationships and being safe. So this is what we are required to teach as a school. For us at Forest Academy, we want our relationships and sex education lessons to provide your children with the knowledge and skills to make responsible and informed choices when they are older as they transition through to secondary school and into adulthood. We want it to link with their spiritual, moral, cultural, mental and physical development. And again, that will prepare them for adulthood. And we want our sessions to enable the children to speak openly and honestly, to ask any questions that they have. We could so that we can address many um, any misconceptions and make them to feel more conf enable them to feel more confident with any decisions they may face when they are older. So this part will talk about how we will teach RSE at Forest Academy. So at the moment, your child has one PSHE lesson a week. PSHE stands for Personal Social Health Education. So they have one lesson of that a week. RSE, Relationship and Sex Education, also falls under the science curriculum as well. And for that lesson, your child also has one science lesson a week. So there's an overlap between the science curriculum and our PSHE curriculum. Now, this bit will talk about what your child learns in each half term. So we've um, just brought into Jigsaw, which we think is a fantastic PSHE curriculum. In the first term, in autumn one, every child from reception to year six will be learning about being in my world, being me in my world, sorry. Um, and as they transition through the school, they will build on their knowledge in each year. So from reception, they'll learn about being me in my world. They'll build upon that again in year one, right through to year six. In autumn two, you your child will be learning about celebrating differences, including anti-bullying. In spring one, they'll be discussing their dreams and goals. In spring two, the theme is healthy me, looking at healthy lifestyles and healthy choices. In summer one, they begin to explore relationships. And in summer two, they talk about changing me. So this is where the RSE part comes in, changes to our body. And as they transition through the school into the upper years, looking at how conception and how babies are conceived. So every session at Forest Academy um, is based around ground rules. These will be agreed as a class. So your child will agree this with the other children in their class and their class teacher at the start of the year. We want to ensure that all of our sessions enable the children to learn, for them to feel safe and for them to feel respected. Respect is a key word that will come up in this presentation. We want the knowledge that we give to the children to enable them to respect others and to make respectful decisions, not only for their, um, themselves, but for others around them. So ground rules are a key part of every PSHE session. How will the children learn? Well, our PSHE sessions are planned for just the same as a maths, English, science, history lesson. And um, there's we think about what we would like the children to learn and then how they will learn that new concept. We give them factual information that will not interfere with your home values and faith and our sessions allow for lots of discussion that will help your children to build on their social skills and their collaboration skills. So the links between home and school. Our curriculum is built on fact and information. Now, what I wanted to share with you is when the new RSE curriculum came into play and um, there was lots of talk in the press and um, lots of myths were shared, misinformation. So I just wanted to clarify um, some points with you. So it was kind of portrayed in the press that us as teachers would be able to would be able to promote our own views. That is not true. There are legal guidelines for what us as teachers have to follow. And we also follow our school policy. Um, 
we ask the answer any questions honestly and in an appropriate way so we cannot promote any of our own views during our teaching there was also rumors that the new rse curriculum will promote sexual activity within children again absolutely not true at a primary school level um, we will be teaching that some body parts are private how to seek help if someone makes them feel worried or scared, how their bodies will change as they grow older, and the basics about periods and where babies come from. So we will not be promoting any kind of sexual activity. It also was rumoured that we will be teaching our children to have a certain, certain sexual orientation. Again, absolutely not. It all comes down to that word respect. Our curriculum teaches children that they should respect differences between others as we would want others to respect our own differences. Difference includes, though, race, gender, disability, faith and family background, as well as sexuality. It also teaches children the skills they need to make good decisions about their behaviour towards other people. So I just want to do a little bit of myth busting then and just to clarify some things that were brought up in the press when the new curriculum came out. Now, what you as parents will be, the information you'll receive for what will be taught during our PSHG curriculum will come to you in the curriculum newsletter that you are given at the start of the half term. So that letter normally lays out what we're going to be covering in English, maths, the curriculum, history, different areas. What you will see now is that it will also include PSHE. What we will do is share with you what your child will be learning as well as the vo new vocabulary that they will be learning as well that way you as the parents and carers can either have discussions before the session starts or you can have just follow-up conversations once the learning has taken place at school but we wanted you to feel prepared and ready for those conversations when they come now our curriculum really intertwines home values and school values really promoting respect and kindness it enables all children to build upon their social skills so not only will they be having conversations at school they can also have conversations with you at home about what the learning what learning has taken place and again it all comes down to that key word of respect we live in such a diverse world um, and we need to understand and respect the differences that come with that so what I'm going to talk to you now is about what you as a parent can withdraw your child from if you wish to, which parts of the curriculum you are allowed to do that for. So what you will see on the next slide is the topics that are covered in science and how much that overlaps with the topics that will be delivered in the PSHE and RSE sessions. As a parent, you cannot withdraw from the science curriculum. However, if you wish to, you can withdraw from the RSE and PSHE parts. What I'd also like to say here is if you do make that decision, uh, conversations do go on the playground after the sessions have taken place. So you are in, more within your rights to ask for your child not to take part in the sessions. And if you choose to do that, alternative work will be provided. However, when it, that session is over, the children all do talk about what they've learned. And I think it's much better for your child to be given factual information from a teacher rather than hearing being drip fed different pieces of information from children on the playground. But however, it is your right to withdraw your child if you wish to do that. Um, but what you would need to do is contact the school and a meeting would happen with either Mrs Oldfield or Mrs Ray or myself. The purpose of that meeting would be to answer any questions or concerns that you may have, maybe share with you some more resources that you feel more comfortable with your child learning. So what you will see here is the overlap between the science curriculum and the RSE curriculum. So in year five, your child will be learning about changes experienced in puberty and describing the changes as humans develop into old age. That will be covered in the science curriculum, which you cannot withdraw your child for. However, it really overlaps well with the RSE curriculum in year five, where again, your child will be talking about the changes between boys and girls in puberty. Um, and they will also be summarizing the content um, process of conception in year five. In year six, part of the science curriculum is to describe sexual reproduction in plants and animals, including humans. They will also be recognising that living things produce offspring of the same kind, but normally offspring vary and are not identical to their parents. This then overlaps with the RSE curriculum, where they'll be describing how a baby develops from conception through to nine months of pregnancy and how it is born. So that shows you the really good links between science and RSE. So we can build on their knowledge and um, discuss different key themes and pick up on any misconceptions as a teacher.
What I would like to do now is share with you some of the resources that your child will see during their RSE lessons at school. So in year five, their RSE topic will start with um, looking at the media and how they view themselves, which I think is a fantastic thing to do. Um, the children these days, the internet is a wonderful thing, but they also have access to so much more information than we ever did. And we really want them to grasp the concept between what people put on the internet and the reality behind maybe the images that they see. So they'll be answering questions such as, is it fair to judge ourselves against images we see in the media online? Thinking about things like filters. Is it fair to judge ourselves against our friends? And what could be the consequences of your perceptions regarding self-image from images like you can see here. So that's kind of the introduction to the topic. They will also be learning about changes to the body for both boys and girls. Now, in our RSC sessions, we found it works best when the boys and girls are taught separately. Um, children tend to feel a lot more confident when asking questions during this session, and we get much more of a discussion from them. However, we also think it's really important that the boys learn about changes to girls and that girls learn about the changes to boys. So even though they may be taught separately, um, they will still be learning about the changes to the other sex. So we're thinking about should we be embarrassed about these changes that are taking place and talking about the feelings that come around with them. We will then lead on to, again, that discussion around should we be comparing ourselves to others, learning that we all experience puberty in different ways and at different times of our lives. So there's some um, scenario cards here, some question cards that will get some great discussions from the children, thinking about things like, when it comes to puberty, boys have left less to worry about than girls. Is that true? Is it better to be an earlier starter on puberty than a late starter? So having those conversations about the differences that we experience when we go through puberty. Now this will talk about the curriculum in year six. So in year six they'll be learning about um, conception and they'll be answering questions such as can you imagine how a newborn baby's parents must feel when the birth is over? What are your own thoughts and feelings about the process by which a new life is formed and how might this affect you in the future? So there'll be some true and false cards to address misconceptions um, and there's just I've taken a snapshot of some of the images that will be shared with your child when they learn about this topic. We will then move on, start thinking about preparing our children for secondary school, talking about things like boyfriends and girlfriends. Why do we want a boyfriend or girlfriend? How is having a boyfriend or girlfriend different to being friends? And discussing kind of the peer pressure around this situation. Um, is it, do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend because you want to be treated like a grown up? Is it things like you enjoy their own company? Or maybe you're the only one in your group without a boyfriend or girlfriend, but discussing that that's okay. Um, so again, preparing for that transition into secondary school. We will then be talking about the real self and the ideal self. So it kind of links again to online safety and the images that they see online, talking about the purpose between, between uh, behind adverts. Why can adverts be misleading? Again, touching upon like filters that they use um, when putting photos online. Is what we see online correct? Is it misleading? Um, so that covered some of the resources that your child will be seeing in year five and six. If you do require any further information, um, the DfE, the Department for Education, have uh, put an information leaflet for parents online so you can access that as well. So what's next for us at Forest Academy? Our curriculum is a working document. We are constantly reviewing it. Um, between many members of staff, including Mrs. Oldfield and Mrs. Ray. Our draft policy for you to see will be on the website at the end of this week. If you do have any questions from this presentation, please do not hesitate to get in contact with us. Use the email address below. Any questions or key themes that come up will then be followed up in a coffee afternoon late um, in summer one. So you'll see that the coffee afternoon for year five and six is on Tuesday, the 4th of May between 2 and 2.30. So please do let us know if any worries or questions you had were not addressed in this presentation or if there's any further information you would like to know, please do get in contact with us and then we can follow that up as I've said in the coffee morning. I am also more than happy to meet with you I am Miss Samuels and if you did want to discuss anything else please do get in contact with me and as I've said already I'll be more than happy to take that conversation further. Thank you for watching this presentation.